Hey everybody, I just wanted to um, try something new-ish. So I get these um, pickled vegetables come in these and I just wash them out and reuse them. I use them for butter um, usually, but sometimes when I want to mix stuff, um, I'll use it for that. I'll use this big one to get. Probably should have get a spoon or something. But this is just like spackle. Um, it's a lot thicker um, uh, than I want to work with. But it is very like light and fluffy. Maybe too light and fluffy? I don't know. I don't have a lot of experience with the textured art spackle stuff. Um... So I don't know if all of it is usually light and fluffy. Um, but I am just, I just decided to do this. I came upstairs to um, talk to my daughter. And then on the way back downstairs, I was like, hmm, let's do this. Today, I do plan on cleaning the house. I just want a good clean for the week. Okay, that'll be good for now. This stuff does kind of have an odor to it. It's not strong at all. But this is what I use. This is the first one I've tried. Uh, so yeah. And then I'm gonna put some of this in there to mix it. I have watched videos of other people doing it and they do it. Sometimes they do add other textures, like texture paste and paint. And then I'm gonna add some paint in there because it's a little bit too like fluffy for me. Um, this is from this company. Yeah. I'm just gonna put a generous amount. But I want it mostly to be, oh goodness, well, um, the spackling stuff. So maybe this part is unnecessary. I don't know, but I did see a video. And I'm not measuring anything. So we'll just see how it turns out. Okay, there's that. And then I want to use white, or I can use this color, but mm, I think I will use this. I'm all mixed up. See how that does. Um, and the color I use is from Master's Touch and it's liquid acrylic, milky white. So it's going to be like a off-white, which is fine because I'm going to, um, I mean, I could have did any color. Ooh, that does tone it down a little bit. Like it um, is not as, oh, I don't know the words. It's not as thick. It doesn't hold its shape uh, like it was when it was super fluffy. So this is pretty good. Let me add a little bit more paint um so that's like that and there we go and then i'm just going to put it on here oh my gosh i'm going to make a mess
Hello everybody. Um, so I've been trying to put this video together for several days now. Started with these in the speckled texture mixture. <clears throat> and I did make long videos and talk through it, but I'm like breathing right into the camera, <laughs> into the audio, which I have a new position or I put my phone in a new position so it picks up every sound so sorry about that I'm probably doing it now but I can't remember what color started on this one I should probably put like a dab of it on the back but uh but yeah so I sped all that up and this is what this one turned out there are other things I may do to it I don't know um, I haven't put a finishing or varnish on it. And then this one. And these are super textured. I mean, they're like, I love it. This, this is the one I, um, so this is the milky white uh, color. And that's the one I sanded down into it. And I may not be done. I don't know. I may throw some um, splats of paint on it. Who knows? But, uh, well, something that's all I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So, in the first video, I don't know if I was talking about my Great Pyrenees buck and I took him to the animal hospital because I thought maybe he had a flip stomach or something stuck, but it ended up he just had um, sore joints. So, we are going to be scheduling him to be neutered. Um, anyways, and, and when, when they do that, they're going to take x rays of his hips and just see how they are. Anyways, he's okay. He's back home. He's himself. He's got medication to help with the inflammation and, and pain. So, yeah. And this is the other one. This is the one I left the um, sides. I think this side right here, I didn't put any spackle on there. But I'm just messing around. Like, I drew this one with the old pastel, the, like, kid pack of old pastel. <laughs> Um, this one I did the, um, sanded in, and I think this one, so I had, um, went with the pink, and then I went back and did the watercolor crayon into the paint, and then I redid it again, um, after it had all dried, just to get a little bit darker. So, I, I really like how this turned out, because I didn't know what color to do this. It was pink, and then I just went over with this, like, uh brown color and then etched into it so I, I do I really like that uh, I like this this part um, this one might be my favorite I don't know I like all of them I love the texture on this one this is kind of glossy um, that paint actually glossy glossy not as glossy um, but I'm going to put some varnish on it. I like this one. I don't know. I like all of them about the same in different ways. I may add something different. I don't really like this color too much. So I may come back in and do maybe even a white. But a white may be too bright. I don't know. <laughs> or come in with something and lighten this up a little bit. Um, I don't really. Yeah, that color. I don't like it too much. I mean, I like the color, just not on this piece. But anyway, this is, uh, I've just been adding layers to this. Need to go back in and define the, the flower. Uh, but yeah. So, thank y'all for watching. Um, and I will try to do some other things on video and get those out. So, yeah. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.